What's up everybody, it's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're here in Santa Monica Beach and about to tour this beautiful estate right behind me. Also, right behind Mikey, we're looking at amazing ocean views. This is our first property that we've ever toured right on the beach, so we got a really good episode ahead of us. Now, specs on this property. We got seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, 6,485 square feet of interior space, built on an 8,392 square foot lot, and this property is currently on the market for $10,995,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing agents, Johan Bensimon and Den Malka for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now let's begin our tour. The house is located on the beach here in Santa Monica, California. And from the street level, we have this hallway bringing us to this open courtyard, which is super cool. We have a fountain right in the center, cement tiles on the floors, which gives ton of character and kind of warmth to this space. We can see the Spanish Revival architectural details from here with the second floor balcony, all the wood beams. We focus this way, we have the front door right here, finished in copper with all these buttons and details and right underneath the staircase which takes us to the second floor we have the door right here opening up the two-car garage now although we have the front door here for villa del sol which you can see from the floor mats i'm gonna take everybody through here which is a french door opening up straight to the kitchen of this home this kitchen really focuses on the lighter color palette with the white cabinets white quartz countertops but i love how they brought the pop of color with these cement tiles that we saw at the entry and they use the same tiles, of course, in different color variations as a backsplash. And we're gonna see these tile details throughout the property, but it gives, it just makes the space feel a little bit more young with built-in appliances here. We have the KitchenAid gas cooktop, big bay window here, dishwasher, your sink, your cabinets continue here. Uh, freezer, fridge, Mikey, we gotta show this detail. Super cool. We got a dumb waiter here. I wanted to ask you, this house feels very like classic California and that dumb waiter looks kind of old. How old was this place built? 1928. Wow. It was designed by John Byers and then uh, built by Eric Bartley in 1928 for a silent film star. How cool is that? Silent film star. Right, Dude. right on the sand, looking at the ocean. Yeah. Iconic. I, I'd like, I'd love to see some photos of what it looked like back then. I know. I, believe it or not, they preserve a lot of the original architectural details. Um, laundry room, washer, dryer, some built-ins. Quickly, let's check out these rooms. So this is really unique. We have the first room here. They staged it as like a massage room. It's a small bedroom. Mikey, this is one of those original wall units for air conditioning. Wait, that's a window unit? Yes. And it's called Whisper Cool. Whisper Cool. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it works. <laughs> I don't know, but they kept it there. And it's a good call. And I just dropped the head of this uh, massage table. All right, let's continue. We got a small office on this side, another small bedroom right here, full bathroom with a tub and the vanity setup. Now, I want to take everybody, like I said, it was an interesting choice from, uh, by starting from the kitchen because we kind of wanted to work from the back end and take everybody here. Small bar setup on this side, and now we're at the entry of this home. This is the front door. And I love how the copper cladding kind of wraps to the interiors. Mikey, can we pan up the ceiling? Look at those clay tiles on the ceilings. Those are all original details. Really? I love it. With the woodwork, we have Spanish tiles on the floors, staircase going up to the second floor, and they use the same clay style tiles at the bottom threads, just giving that character. Clay style tile, I like that. We gotta get a close up of this. So this door handle, this is how it works. Oh, really? Yeah. Opens up to a uh, powder room on this level. Why I wanted to show this to everyone, I love these tiles. I think they're just so cool. So different, so rich in character. Nice vanity set up here with a drop-in sink. Gorgeous powder room. All right, let me take everybody back and continue our tour. I'm gonna go through this opening, which is gonna take us to the formal dining room area, 
super beachy with this light color palette. Uh, table set up here, these cloth finishes, you know, they're going for that beach vibe. And on top of that, I love the contrast between the light wall colors and these kind of not darker, but the wood toned uh, beams on the ceiling. Just super inviting. We got a nice fireplace design here. And that original I, as well? I don't know, but I asked the listing agent, I was like, what does this mean? He goes, it's in land. And he doesn't, he didn't know the exact transition, but it's something like, I chose love and I let people take the beach. Something like that. You know, I took six years of Latin. I went to a classical school. This is where you shine, Mike. You know, show the, us the skill set. The only word I rec recognize is ama, which is love, so. <laughs> love. Well, there you go. I hope we justified that uh, explanation there. Nice arch opening here from the formal dining room area leads us to the seating section here. And I love all these curved French doors opening up to the backyard. And the backyard of this property is so iconic. We're gonna see that in a bit. But before we go out there, I wanna take everybody here. So we have, I guess the formal seating area, formal living room here, super cozy, another fireplace, plaster walls, ceiling details with all these wood paneling. We have another opening from that side as well. Super cozy, hardwood floors. And Mikey, there's a detail here. I want you to point out uh, at this painting right here, or that's what I thought. So I thought this was a painting, right? Turns out, let's see if I can even turn it on. It's a TV. Well, uh, the remote control might have ruined the surprise. I think we need to change the batteries. Yes, uh, I am trying to figure it out. Wow. Let me try, I'm good with technology. Well, that there we go. There you go. It's a TV, how cool is that? Did you know like these exist? It's called Frame by Samsung. If I rented this house, I would have stayed in here for like uh, a month. And <laughs> I would never, have never, never, know. never noticed that. Never know. I have my sunglasses here because I knew after this room, we would tour the backyard. So let's go out there, check it out. It's a beautiful sunny day here in California. Talking about those cement tiles, they have it throughout the entire patio, which is awesome. So much character. You have your 40 foot pool here. I mean, this is so inviting. They spent a lot of money, time, and effort to really amplify this backyard and get the best experience out of it. And look at all this grass. Obviously, it leads us straight to the beach, but it's so cool, so inviting, so iconic. Yeah, this is like, when people imagine beach homes in California, this, this is what they imagine. Exactly, I mean, the fact that you walk straight into the sand, I don't think we've ever toured a home where you get this kind of experience, right? This is our first, we've had some beachfront homes, but they're always on cliffs. This is our first true beachfront this home. This is the real deal. Yeah. All right, backyard continues. It's crazy to think that you have a 45 feet wide lot, which gives you a lot of usable area. It's about 2,800 square feet on the backyard space, which is amazing. Again, right on the sand. And we have this patio space here with an outdoor dining area, barbecue setup, fire pit, seating area. Again, beautiful landscaping. I mean, just imagine having the fire pit on looking at this amazing home. It's just a really romantic setup. Yeah, and I gotta say, guys, we are right on the beach. So if you hear any wind noise, I gotta apologize. It's, it's a uh, little windy today. It's a little windy, but this house is kind of uh, in line with the wind. So the cool thing about it is you open up the doors and you open up the gate, the whole thing becomes a wind tunnel. Um, and ocean breeze just kind of comes through. It's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. You don't even need the AC to be on, honestly. Exactly. And if and this gate's closed, it kind of stops the wind also. Exactly. But. We came all the way out here to show this. This is literally the sand. People are on that walkway, biking, walking, enjoying the setup. And if you walk another like probably 100 feet, you're right on the ocean. And this is your backyard. 100 yards maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the iconic uh, Santa Monica boardwalk right there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people love LA, uh, appreciate the setup it has. But this home really takes it to a next level. The fact that you can just walk to the beach straight from your private backyard, you can't really beat that. For sure. And that's it for the first floor. Now let's go back inside and check out the second floor. All right, everyone, here we are at the second floor. I gotta show this real quick. We have this door opening up to the second floor access point or the balcony and uh, we have two ocean facing primary bedrooms here. I say two because they're almost the same size. I'm gonna call this one the junior primary bedroom because it's maybe a tiny bit smaller. 
light hardwood floors complemented with these plaster walls that are in white finish which makes this room so inviting so light and fresh and on top of that we have the vaulted ceilings here with the beam details light fixture right in the center and each one of these primary bedrooms have a seating area tv on this side with the sonos of course and what's so awesome about this house is this you open up these french doors and you let the ocean breeze come in i'm sure leaving these doors open and sleeping here at night must be an experience all right room has a fireplace which is right here and they did this kind of not a chimney design but this clad design here which again kind of adds up to the character some built-in shelving obviously your best setup is over here and let's go here mikey small walk-in closet we have the built-ins on this side and going through here we have the bathroom this is some sort of a sandstone or limestone finish that we have on the walls which are these big slabs that makes this bathroom feel really beachy and it's like goes with that ocean vibe uh water closet here walk-in shower mikey we gotta show this same tile same tile same tile i love that is that is that new or old i gotta know i mean this one i, I believe it's probably like five to ten years old but it just it has such a young energy to it you know it's kind of timeless yeah vintage design gorgeous so beachy it almost feels like we're in malibu which are practically the same thing as malibu is down the road but uh it certainly feels that way for sure all right let me take everybody back to the landing and go through here we have the second primary bedroom this is in my opinion the main primary bedroom in this room we have darker hardwood floors king size bed a lot of these wood paneling details and plaster details and my favorite are these curved ceilings where the walls join the ceilings so it kind of smooths out the room and just adds a lot of texture to it. We've got a gorgeous medallion right in the center. And again, going with that beachy theme, two French doors opening up to the ocean views. You see people walking by, you see waves rolling. And this bedroom has a little bit bigger balcony space with the Saltillo tiles. This is awesome. Do uh, these tiles remind you of uh, your home in Texas? A yes, bit. that's right. Yeah. It's a very uh texas or south uh, kind of finish yeah for sure overall gray size room with dark hardwood floors white walls and of course to cozy up the room we have a fireplace design here clad beautifully with marble i gotta say i'm kind of surprised by the design of this bedroom it seems way more classical than the rest of the house the rest of the house feels very spanish and mediterranean but this feels classical and i can't say why enlighten me a little bit well you see these iron details you see these layers of molding the other ones were like just white plaster walls a yeah. little bit curvier edges this one has the curves too but all, all those lines and molding details is kind of where it's confusing you a lot of these walls constants also are adding up it's like those details that you can't really point out but you know you feel some type of way or a certain way yeah exactly this one also has a little bit bigger of a walk-in closet. Again, nicely paneled in. We got a mirror set up here. And going through this door, we have the primary bathroom, clad with marble, on the floors, on the walls. We got the vanity set up here with this really unique linear sink design. Again, wood tones, toilet set up right there. Mikey, we got to change spots. Copper freestanding tub. This is certainly not cheap. It's, uh, it's pretty cool and it's super deep. Super deep and it's nicely aged. So it's like it has this patina and scratches and it has a character. Yeah, for sure. All right, lastly, let me go inside, Mikey. Someday, I promise, I'm gonna, flip, just gonna, turn it I'm gonna flip one of these on just for the audience. This is where we have the walk-in shower, again, clad with marble, same cement tiles on the floors. Now, that's it for the primary wings on this floor. Now I'm gonna take everybody back to the landing. There are two more rooms that we're gonna see on this level. By the way, seeing the details already. Look at these door hinges. Come outside, Mikey, so you can show it to our audience. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're not used to seeing them. I'm not sure that's in focus, but I hope it is. There you go. I've had some problems with that in the past. Dumb waiter. That's cool, and it's a rope pull, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's so really... you just pull it. Yeah, I like that old school vibe. Old school here. vibe. Mike, you're gonna love this. So this house was built in 1928, right? This is a photo they took in 1927, right before they built this house. Raymond Griffith, first person on the left from the Griffith Observatory. Really? And there are some couple other, uh, Windsor Howard Hughes. 
The yeah. finance. Uh, no, Howard Hughes. He's he's kind of known as being like one of the fathers of aviation. Like, okay, yeah, he was kind of a big tycoon. He started an airline. He went crazy. Leonardo DiCaprio played him in a movie. Well, there you go. A lot of important people here. Obviously, my uh, historical context is a little bit missing. Oh wow! As usual. Look, look at that. You know who that is? Tony Moreno. Oh wow! That's yes. the Paramore State. Paramore, it's yeah, it. so we toured the Paramore State. It says third row. I'm assuming. Look, look. No, Anto no, Antonio Moreno, Miss Antonio Moreno, also. I think that's him. Yeah. Third row, first person. Yeah, maybe we'll get a photo of this so y'all know what we're talking about when we're, when yeah. we're standing here. We recently toured the phenomenal, iconic estate in uh, Hollywood Hills in Los Feliz. It's yeah. called Paramore Estate. And then uh, Tony Moreno had a lot to do with that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There you go, a little bit of a history lesson right yeah. there. Awesome. It's like we have connections to the past now just because of this YouTube channel. You know? There you go. It's like, well, Antonio Moreno, hey. Third room. This is back facing. Nice and quiet. Hardwood floors, bed set up, pretty straightforward. Has a Jack and Jill bathroom. Let's quickly show that Mikey, which starts right here. Again, going with that scent and beach theme. We have the vanity design here, nice soaking tub, and we have the walk-in shower on this side. Now, joining to the other side, we have the second bedroom on the back side of the property. Same finishes, pretty much the same size, hardwood floors, king size bed, TVs mounted on this side. And that's pretty much it for the second floor. Now I want to take everybody back to the landing of the second floor to check out the third floor. Top of the staircase, we have this awesome landing area that gets a ton of natural light, beam ceiling details, chandelier right in the center, some built-ins, and I love all these carving details that they have throughout. And check this out. They have these little uh, storage spaces or little areas for you to hide your alcohol prohibition days. Oh, really? Yep. Well, it is a little obvious. It's a little, I think maybe because of the latch. Well, uh, the, maybe you blend in the latch or you just leave it alone. Yeah. If I were a uh, investigator, were a cop back then, <laughs> a J. Edgar, I definitely would have found one of those. We have these awesome windows as well, looking at the courtyard that we saw earlier. This door opens up to the bedroom on this level. This room is super cool. Oh yeah. It's the elevation difference. It's the beam ceiling details. You know, these grid windows and you'll literally see ocean on one side. And again, at this level, you don't even need to have like curtains, literally no neighbors looking into you. Um, we have a seating area. I don't know if I stayed in this house somehow, like I would end up here. Yeah, you uh, really don't need air conditioning. Is this house air conditioned? Yes, it is. But for the most part, if you leave the windows open, honestly, you wouldn't even need it. For people out there, little context. Um, Santa Monica beachside has a nice cold breeze, even during summer. So. 365 days out of the year, you can probably leave your windows open and get away with it. Yeah, even like days with a heat wave, it'll be 100 degrees during the day, but at night it'll be like 65. You know? Yeah, and on the beach, you always have breeze here in California, yeah. so. Then they did design, same finishes, marble countertop. They did the hexagon mosaic tiles here. Mikey, let's quickly show the walk-in shower, the last one. And the room next door, you can connect it either from this bathroom or obviously from the hallway that we saw earlier. Dutch door, a little bar section here. Oh yeah. With the stainless finish, some built-in uh, racks, and this is a 650 square foot uh, media room. This is huge. This is huge. I didn't expect this. It's a bonus space, backside of the property, not the ocean facing. And we have beam ceiling details here, Sonos audio system throughout, 85 inch TV. Uh, super cozy media room. Come down here, watch a movie, you name it. Options are endless. It could be someone's cool office as well if you want to work at the beach. Yeah. But overall, great home, beautiful finishes, and something about its age and being on the beach, I just feel like this property is so special. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Big thanks to the listing agents, Johan Bensimon and Den Malka for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.